Michael Carroll. We spoke with the chief just a few minutes ago. This is such a, a devastating site for churchgoers in this area. This sanctuary was in the middle of renovations. They were expanding this and going to connect the two buildings. Now, the chief says they have got this fire about 90% out. They're working on hot spots now, but they are still far from done, expecting to be out here for the next two to three hours. Take a look from Sky 4. This is what happened when the fire broke out. The roof completely collapsed. And this fire broke out around 1245. Four departments have been on the scene. And the folks inside at the time were construction workers working on the renovation. Fire officials do believe that cause was construction related. Now, the pastor says he was in an adjacent building when the fire started and didn't even know about the fire until a fire truck arrived. They were able to get everyone out of the adjacent building while the crews began their work. It's very difficult to see this going on, but this isn't the church. The people are the church, and I have no doubt that we will feel an overwhelming presence of the Holy Spirit with us, and, and we'll get through this, and we'll rebuild it. The chief says they will begin fighting inside once they know it is safe for firefighters to be in there. But again, as you can see, continuing their work from outside, expecting to work in the dark tonight for the next two to three hours. You can just see the vast amount of water in this area from where it's completely flooded due to hours upon hours of firefighting. Allie Miles, WYFF News 4, we're live here in Simpsonville.